is part two of my big jewelry haul. There's the box, and David's going to grab a big handful, and we're going to start filling up the bag with about four pounds of jewelry. Hopefully it's a little bit different than last bag, but because you never know what you're going to find in these bags. And this is a big, it's a big box. You can see it's big. It's a lot of stuff, 17 pounds. So some of the same stuff, but I'm going to put this down and let him start loading the bag for the up on the scale. Okay, we're at almost, oh, almost three pounds. That's too much, a little bit at a time. Oh boy, this could be harder than we thought. A lot of tangles. Oh, it looks like some ridiculous stuff in here. This bag has been a bit ridiculous. Well, you know, it's an experiment, and I figured for $40 out the door with shipping, it's not so bad. We could give it a try and see what we get. Okay, three pounds, we just need a, maybe a little bit more. Let's see. One more piece. Okay, a little over four pounds. Okay, we'll dump this out and see what we got. So if you didn't watch the last video, you might want to go back. That's when we opened the box up and uh, weighed, started weighing out the first bag. Now this is an interesting piece. Let's get it out of the bag because I can't really see what it is. Uh, two... I don't know if those are dragons or horses. It says original by Sharif. And it's brand new in the bag. So it's got the bag. So I don't know what that is. We'll have to we'll have to investigate. If I find out anything about it, I will put it up on the um, on the video right here. I'll be just somewhere somewhere on the video. I'll put it. Now this is anywhere hair and neck. Somebody stringed or strung pearls in ribbon. It's lightweight. They're not pla they're plastic, not glass. But it's a pretty piece, brand new. Somebody might like it. Well, that's garbage. It's just the kind of stuff they shouldn't put in there. But maybe we can glue stuff on it, or somebody can. That's a shame. This one says nine. Nine. What did that one say? And there's this one that's busted too. It's all busted up. So three crowns, crowns, two of them busted up. But that's what you get when you buy these boxes. You just never know. Um, this is all wood. It says, oh, the Fairmount or or Orchid, Hawaii. That looks like a Hawaiian tourist piece. Got, uh, those, are, uh, those are seed pods. Yeah. And here's a nice little cuff. Made in China. Man-made material. That's kind of cute. It's, it's a fake leather. Vinyl. That's kind of cute. I think somebody might like that. That's cute. It would look like just be cute on. Okay. Some more Mardi Gras beads. We had a bunch of those in the last box. I was hoping I wouldn't get as many in this box. But, you know, they tend to like to take one box and put a whole bunch of the same stuff in it. The funny thing is, I just worked on my studio, and one of the things I pulled out of there was a whole box of Mardi Gras beads. So I got three more, plus what was in the last box. This looks like a strap to a watch. I've got a watch that this goes to, and a whole bunch of the straps. Now that's a nice looking piece. It's a hair clip. That's nice. That's actually very pretty. Um, this is a very heavy belt. This is the kind of stuff they put in there to make it heavy. Now that... I don't know if that's Chanel. Yeah, Chanel. I don't know if it's really Chanel. You know what I mean? 
it's, uh, it says Chanel. That doesn't necessarily mean it is. Uh, it's very heavy. I don't know how you authenticate it. But I'm saying I doubt it's really Chanel because it doesn't look high quality. So it's probably a fake piece, which means I can't do anything with it. Here is a key tag from Paul Mann Toyota. Another hair piece. And I think this is broken. A little leather bracelet. Might be fixable though. Dog tag. A wholehearted Jeremiah 2913. Little dog tag necklace. And this says Phillies. It's a little necklace for the Phillies. A whole stack of very tiny bracelets in wild colors. Very pretty, but they're tiny. Maybe for either a very small woman or a young girl. Oh, this is a magnetic one. These are always fun. Oh, fish. I think it's one of those toys you put in the water. I don't know. But it doesn't, <coughs> doesn't work, so I don't know what that is. It's weird. Another little leather bracelet, Shambhala. Oh, it does work. Maybe it got it to a little tail to work. <coughs> now it stopped. <coughs> Put it in front of the camera and it stopped. You have to hold it down. Yeah. Oh, there's no point in that. Okay. Um, I've got some more of these. They're supposedly worth something. i got a whole bag of them. I'll add this to it. The sell them as a lot. Um... Another weird, I had something similar to this in the last bag. But, you know, the good news is all these pieces are harvestable and so is a chain. A little purse on a chain. It's kind of cute. A little change purse on a chain. Nothing spectacular inside, just cloth. This is a cute little bracelet, also Shambhala. People like these little string bracelets. This is like a little lace necklace. And it's a cute little pendant. Another magnetic bracelet. Prettier though, I think the colors on this one are nice. Some pink pearls. Oh, another uh, crucifix, rosary, I mean. Oh, yeah, did I show that? Let me show that. This is a little bracelet that you pull it through the loops. Very pretty. Feels like real leather, too. That's real leather. That's not fake. And this bracelet caught my eye in the, in the description. So that's one of the reasons I bought this, because I thought this was kind of neat. And it's brand new. Has a tag made in Nepal. And I don't know if you can see that. It has like a nice little. Now, I don't know what you do with this. I don't know who's waist. It's not stretchy. So I don't know what you do if it's a necklace. I guess maybe it's a necklace. Yeah. It's a necklace. That's what it is. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's a beautiful condition. It's brand new. Well, it doesn't always mean they're in good condition when they're new. Okay, the elephant in the room is a mouse. Earring holder. Now that's kind of cool, and it looks like it could be vintage. So I could probably sell that online. That's kind of neat. That weighs a lot, too. How much does that piece weigh? I bet you that was half our weight. More Mardi Gras necklaces. 
You have to wait till the zeros are on there. It won't measure. Point seven four. How much? Point seven four. It's almost eight ounce. What? Half an ounce? A half a pound? Wait. Point seven four is almost three quarters of a pound. Yeah, that's a lot. Sephora and more <coughs> Mardi Gras chains. Another magnetic one. Another pink one. This one's got some nice findings in it. It's very pretty. I've had people buy those from me before. Now, I had one of these in my last box, too. I kept it out. This one's clear rhinestones. This has got an AB finish to it. They're slightly different. Um, um, kind of a coil bracelet. Yeah, it's like a spring. That's cool. Kids stuff. So one of the grandkids. A um, little bit of seed bead. It's got a tiny little barrel clasp on it. Teeny tiny. That's little. It's almost like an anklet. It's so big. Now this has nothing. You've got to engrave it, I guess. Name, age, sex, blood, and birth. But nobody ever did anything with it. So, and then this is odd, to say the least. It was, a, it was probably a stretchy hair thing that no longer stretches. Then there's this, which is just a lamb lanyard. And then this is ridiculous. It's just a bunch of plastic beads. It's a garland. It's got to be a garland. It's got to be. Those look like cherries or something. Yeah, so I'll take that apart and give the beads to my grandkids. And there's this piece here, which I cannot for the life of me figure. I guess it's a belt. Yeah, it's a belt. Pull it through and hook it. Nice chain, so maybe I can do something with that. And then another couple of string bracelets. A little plastic bracelet. Oh, it's another one of those velvet ones I found last time. And then some beads on elastic. So that was that box. Nothing terribly exciting, but um, I think it was fun. So we're going to end this here, and we're going to start the next video. So next week will, next Tuesday will be the next video. So I'll be back then, and thanks for watching. Bye.